everyone, I'm Diana with Honeycomb Wax Co. I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you so you can use um, your smooth nectar wax on your clients. Um, it's completely revolutionary, but it does have a learning curve. So please watch and learn from this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot us an email or use um, the chat on our website. First tip is consistency. You want to make sure that the wax isn't dripping off your stick. If I stir this up a little bit, there's some warm wax right here. This is too thin and too hot. So you want to make sure that the wax stays on your stick. And if it doesn't, just do your twirl until it cools down a little bit. And it stays without having to twirl too much. And when you're applying, it will go on very smooth in the right temperature. You want to make sure your edges are smooth and even. And you want to make sure that you apply it a little bit thick. You want to make sure that it's not too wide. The length doesn't matter as much as the width. And then when you go to apply it you or go to take it off, you don't want it to set too much. You want it to still indent with your fingers. If it doesn't indent, it's set too long and you're going to get the cracking. So it pulls right off and is still really pliable. So, so um, in certain areas like the lip or the brow, you can go a little bit thinner. Just do a thin strip. But you want to make sure that your edges are even. You have a good lip to grab onto. And pull. You see how there is some cracking because I didn't have the strip um, even, but it all just comes up. But that's why thicker strips for large areas is better. It's not. Um, a traditional wax you'd want it to harden completely and if you let it harden completely um, it will crack on you but the nice thing is is if you do a good decent layer you see how thick it is it's not too thick you can still see the skin underneath but it's just thick enough that you're not going to get any cracking as long as you're pulling it up the right way not waiting too long let's go ahead and do one more and wait So say you're speed waxing and you do multiple strips at a time and you accidentally waited too long. It 
still really pliable. So it takes a long time for it to set if you're trying to set it as a traditional wax. Another tip, That I like to use is taking a small amount of oil for clients that have really dry skin like anytime I wax my legs I use oil because they're just flaky and dry and when your client has dry skin I'm just gonna take a very small amount of oil when your client has dry skin the skin tries to pull the moisture out of the wax and it sets a lot quicker and it can crack if, it, if the client's skin isn't prepped properly. So I just take a really small amount of oil. You can barely feel it on the skin. You don't want it to be <clears throat> um, greasy. They're just adding a really small barrier. My skin is really red here only because I've waxed it like five times for this video. And it just leaves a nice protective layer. So those are just a few tips on how to use smooth nectar. Um, if you do have any questions in the future or while you're um, working with the wax, I'd be happy to do on one-on-one -on -one instruction with you or um, just answer any questions you might have. Um, so if you need me, you know, shoot me an email or use the chat box on um, our website and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have.